guys, it's Ashley, and today is day three of BioRat, Build Your Own Readathon. Links in the description for more information regarding that. You may have noticed I did not do a challenge video yesterday, and this is not a challenge video, as you can tell by the title. This week has been busier than I expected it to be when I decided to do the readathon this week. So I've been faced with the choice of either reading or making videos, and I've been choosing reading because it's a readathon, not a videothon. But my book outlet delivery came today, so I thought I would do an unboxing so you still have a video even if it's not a challenge related. I do have plans for at least two more videos this week that I have all planned out. I just gotta actually like sit down and film them, so you will be getting more challenges, don't worry. As far as a quick reading update, I have finished Beautiful Uncertainty, and today I finished reading Isaac Newton, The Alchemist, or whatever the title of that one was. So I've got two books down in three days, not too bad. We'll see if I can finish the rest of them. But now let's get to the unboxing. So I ordered these books because Book Outlet was having a sale and I have no self-control when it comes to buying books on sale. I mean that's not totally true. I do have some self-control. When I first started filling my cart over on Book Outlet, I had $300 worth of books in my cart and I got rid of most of that. So I do have some self-control. I made myself only order books that I have actually been like looking forward to, that have been on my list for a while, with one exception because it sounded really, really, really good, and a couple of books that I got from my grandmother because she's running out of books to read, and these were on sale. So it was a win-win, and once again, the book outlet paper. So the first thing I see and touch is maybe the reason that I ordered through this sale because if you spent so much money, you would get a book outlet bear. And he's so soft and cuddly and he says book outlet and he's gonna be my new book mascot and live on my shelves and he's adorable. I'm gonna have to come up with a name for you though. Bert? Bert the book outlet bear? I think so, his name is Bert. All right, let's get to the books. The first book is To Win Her Favor by Tamara Alexander. This is a Christian historical romance. I don't know too much about this, I just know Tamara Alexander is a good author, and it's a historical romance which my grandmother is very much a fan of, and so I picked this one up for her. It has to do with this lady who wants to be a horse rider, horse, uh, what's it called? She wants to race horses with her horse, and then there's a man involved in some way. I don't really know. I know, when I read it online it sounded interesting and like something my grandmother would enjoy, so this is for her. Next up, so this is my first experience buying a damaged book off book outlet that is actually fairly damaged. Got a ripped thing. So I bought Princess Academy, The Forgotten Sisters, and whoop, and whoop, and whoop, and whoop, and Palace of Stone, both by Shannon Hale. These are the second and third books in the Princess Academy series, which I didn't realize there was three books. I thought there was only two. So I do have the first book on my shelf here somewhere that I really, really enjoyed, and so I'm hoping these two will live up to that first one. I'm not a fan of these covers. I like the old covers better, but these ones were only like a dollar, so that's what I got. Next up is another one from my grandmother. It's Love on a Dime by Carolyn James. I don't even remember. Okay, I may have to read this one before I give it to her. I don't think I read the description of this. I think I just saw a cheap price in a book that my grandmother would like. It's set in Newport, Rhode Island, and the main character is a lady novelist in the 1800s, which is not really an acceptable thing for ladies. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read this before I give it to her. Next up, we have Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This, of course, is one of the novellas. Is it a novella or is it like a couple of novellas? I'm not really sure. It's part of the Lunar Chronicles, which I haven't gotten to yet, but I picked up Cress and Scarlet and Cinder when I last ordered from Book Outlet because they were on sale, and now this one's on sale, so the only one I still need is Winter when that comes out in paperback, and then I can just sit down and binge the whole series. I'm gonna have to look up like where that belongs in the series. Then I got These Vicious Masks by Tarun Shanker and Kelly Zekas. This is a book that I've heard about. I've seen it described online as Jane Austen meets X-Men meets something else, I forget, but it was like, whoa, that sounds amazing, I need to have it. So I don't really know anything about this other than there's women in the Regency period and they're like some kind of superheroes or spies or something like that, and it sounds really, really good. So it's been on my list and it was on Book Outlet for super cheap, so it's now mine. Next, I got The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. This is a book that has been making the rounds through some of my online groups and just spoken of really, really highly. When people talk about prayer books, this is one of the first they recommend, and I've never read it. So I got it because it was super cheap. It was a damaged one, which it's got a little wrinkling here, but that's 
so I'm excited to get to this. Next up is Fair Play by Deanne Gist. In one of the recent readathons, I mentioned that Deanne Gist is one of my favorite authors, and this is one of the books of hers that I've never read. It came out a couple of years back, and it was on sale on Book Outlet, so now it's mine, and I will get to it soon. Um, all I know is something about a fair. It's a romance. Oh, right! This one has the main character is a woman, and her name is Billy Jack, and she is a doctor, and she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Texas Ranger, and of course it's going to be a romance because it's Deanne Gist, and it's going to be beautiful because it's Deanne Gist and I'm excited about this one. Look at all these beautiful books. Next is The Curiosity Keeper by Sarah E. Ladd. This one I've heard a lot about. It doesn't totally interest me, but I know that the main character works in a curiosity shop and there's like a diamond or some rare jewel involved and there's a love story. So this is one that I picked up from my grandmother because I know that she'll probably really enjoy it. Next, I got Clout, Discover and Unleash Your God-Given Influence by Jenny Cal- no, Catrone. I do that every single time I think of her name. Jenny Catrone is a leader in business and she's also a Christian and so she's done a lot of study into leadership and influence from a biblical perspective and I heard her speak at the Kidman conference, I believe it was last year, and she mentioned she had a book that was on my list to buy at some point and what do you know, it was on Book Outlet for a couple bucks. So I now have it. I really enjoyed her session that I had gone to at the conference. She talked not only about influence but also about how to take care of yourself and influence yourself to reach dreams, not just influence others to achieve purposes. So this sounds like it's going to be really, really good. Okay, I lied. So there's two books that I got that I hadn't really heard of before. The first is Rock Solid Children's Ministry by Larry Fowler. Fowler. He is the executive training director for Awana and Kids Matter. And as you may know, I am a children's minister. And so this is really about how to build a ministry that is going to really impact children, not just teach them stories or how to act, but that's going to actually make a difference in their lives. So I'm looking forward to this. It's not very long, so hopefully I'll get to this soon and put things into practice. And the last book is Design the Life You Love, a step-by-step -step guide to building a meaningful future by Ais Bursal. I think that's how you say it. I don't know much about this. I did look it up because it sounded really good based on the cover. It had pretty good reviews and I love this that it's like a journal. Let's look inside because I'm really curious. Ooh, ooh, it's got a lot of pictures. Oh, this is exciting. I'm going to have to get to this soon. Just sounded really good. Design the life you love. I couldn't say no to that. So this was probably the most expensive book in this box, but it sounded so good I couldn't pass it up. So I made it through this book outlet sale with a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 books. Most of them are mine. Two or three of them are from my grandmother. And... I'm pretty happy with my purchases. I did really good. I exercised some self-control. To truly exercise self-control, I would have had to like not buy any because that's what I was supposed to do was not buy any and whatever. Whatever. I got some really good books that I'm really excited about. So I'm curious, did you order anything in this book outlet haul? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you got. Let me know if you've read any of these books and where I should start. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with an actual buyer rat challenge video. Bye.